Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big Liverpool welcome into the red corner from Karma Muay Thai London, Gary Cooley. Come on, Liverpool, let's hear it for Gary Cooley. And now, please give an equally large welcome to his opponent in the blue corner, fighting out of the infamous Minotaur's Gym of London, Sam Ward. So here we go for bout number three of the afternoon. In the red corner, we've got Gary Cooley from Karma Muay Thai in London. And in the blue corner, we've got Sam Ward from Minotaur Gym in Watford. It's a London derby being held right here in the heart of Liverpool. Sam Ward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this C-Class Adult Muay Thai bout is scheduled for five one and a half minute rounds in the 66 kilogram division. Over to your referee. So bout number three of the afternoon. This is a C-Class contest matched at 66 kilos. In the black shorts, we've got Gary Cooley from Karma Muay Thai in London. And in the blue corner and in the white shorts, we've got Sam Ward from Minotaur's gym. No why crew being done by these guys. They want to get straight on with the action. Yeah, just noticed that. So far, I've had no Ram Moyes from any fighter, but that's up to each camp. And Round one. Trained by John Ganora from Karma Muay Thai, a new gym that's opened up in London. I've not heard of this guy, but I'm sure okay, he's not come up from London for nothing. Um, his fighter, Jerry Cooley, which is a cool name. And Sam Ward from Minotaurs are with the very, very effervescent two guys who normally have better haircuts than me, nearly. Uh, the... the the Knowles' brothers, we've got both Chris and Lyndon there in the corner, come up. So it's sort of a bit weird, this, we're in Liverpool. Good very, push kick. Very nice time push kick there by, by Gary. And one back and two back there from the Minotaurs. Oh, a little bit uh, south of the border. Speaking of south of the border, Richard, both these guys are actually from... <laughs> it's London versus London and we're in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a London derby. It's a London derby in uh, Scouseland. Amazing. Do you know, when the guy got in, in the blue corner, who does he look like in the white shorts? Go on. I'll give you a clue. Begins, begins with an R. His name's name, same first name as you. I've no idea. You'll soon see when you have a look at his face. Honestly, it's dead ringer for him. Ricky. No, you're not getting it. I'll come back to you on that one anyway. Back to the action. I nearly came into the commentary team then with me and Richard. Very sharp technique being shown by both guys. Yeah, matched at 66 kilograms this. C-class, both fighters coming out with, like I said, blistering start here. For me so far, Sam Ward is taking a slight edge. Yeah, very forward, aggressive, but also scoring really well. Nice body kick there just before the bell too, probably catching the judges' eyes. He raises his hands. Showing a slight dominance. And there's a little hematoma, a little bit of a swelling on the forehead of Gary Cooley from Cam and Muay Thai. And the person I'm thinking this guy looks like, and I hope he don't sue me for it. You've got to say it, come on. If you're not good, who he looks like. I can't see it. Ah, I'm going to keep you guessing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go on, I'm going to tell you. I'll put you out your misery. Rick Barnhill. Do not think? The, the, the absolutely stunning model like Rick Barnhill. Yes. With facial hair. Yes. <laughs> it's Rick Barnhill with a bit more facial hair, I'm telling you. Quite possibly. Yeah, Rick Barnhill. Well, hey, there, well, there's a bold statement. <laughs> get, get, getting up off his stool. <laughs> there. Very the bold statement. The, the clock is ticking. He stood in the middle of the ring, ready to get on with action. Ten seconds before the beam, the bell went. That, he two. is up for this fight. So, as you mentioned, look at these two guys coming out with some good, clean techniques, good teeth push kicks were going to be thrown. But the moment seems to be a lot of the action is coming from the blue corner, from the Minotaurs. Sam Ward stamping his authority and showing his, his kind of game attitude, stepping into space, pushing him back. Gary almost going into survival mode to uh, to protect himself. Yeah. But with the name of, oh, took one there, right in the notes again, I saw that. The Linden brothers there telling him to go in body, 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 with the body kicks. Well, that's uh, that's the standard strategy. If there is a, a low blow, he's obviously want to capitalise on that body shot, on that body damage. Gary trying to hide and protect himself behind that push kick. Sam stepping into space, keeping that pressure coming forwards. Yeah, I like Sam's style. He's got a, he's got a. A very aggressive style, but very, very, he's very technical. And he's just he's scoring big with those knees, Richard. Yeah, that left, left knee scoring really well. A nice le cheeky little left hook there by Gary. Yeah, well, yeah. And again, Come the right yeah. hand sticking yeah. well. Yeah. Sam has to be cautious about running onto some of those shots. Yeah, doesn't want to get too complacent just because he's ahead and he is ahead. His head pretty big on my unofficial scorecard here, but you know it's still early doors, only into round two. And Sam showing how confident he's feeling, walks back to his corner, hands in the air. Gary's choosing to stay stood up, breathing deep. Sandy, if you was in the corner of Gary Cooley, what advice would you be giving him right now? Um, well, it's a tricky one because this guy is all over him like a rash. Um, the only way he's going to, I'd say just, you have to go and stand toe to toe with this guy, go forward and push him and, and, and sort of break up some of this guy's aggressive style, um, take the fight to him. I know that's not easy Second when you've got somebody out. in your face like that. Um, because if he stands off him, he'll just pick him off as well. Because this guy is good. He can. He's relying a lot on his hands, and uh, you know we know that punches won't win over kicks Round unless you three. actually land them. But he has landed a couple of dangerous punches. I think he needs to just try and staunch and get in front of him, get in front of Sam Ward, and try and just sort of take some of that action away from him. He has composed himself a little bit here, though, hasn't he? Look, I like he's, he's just yeah, settled he's in taken, there, taken, nice. Taking that yeah. step back now. But you know, is that going to be the right strategy? On saying that, Richard, um, the name of his camp. <laughs> Speaks volumes. Karma, Muay Thai. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just like the name on the gloves and the name of your camp, mate, Chalk D. It's a good name. Well, you, if you want to follow that that mentality, we've got the Minotaur gym. Very bullish in their attitude, coming forwards, keeping that pressure on, and Sam certainly stamping his authority on this bout. Get warned again, he's going a little bit low all the time to the groin. Doesn't need to do that. I don't know that's just excitement. I'm sure it's not intentional. Um, because this guy's got good technique, Sam Ward. I, I, really, I do like his style. You know, the guy's gutsy in front of him, but um, Sam is definitely, uh, you know, he's caught my attention. He's scoring nicely, keeping both lads, keeping composed. They've got a nice guard. Is it For me, it's the stumble back. It's the loss of position from... 
from Gary that, that's, that's losing him this fight. Yes, absolutely. He's, he's, he's showing more, he's, he's, he's allowing Sam to show the effect, literally. Um, that was a big left knee there. Yeah, straight in, and they weren't to the groin too. They, they landed nice and clean. And again, he punches the sky. Yeah, he's done that each round, and I think he knows that he is ahead. And Gary having a little shake, shake of the head as he uh, stands in the corner. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, you know, the psychology behind fights, Richard, you know, and I know, I mean, you know, not only the fact that you've been in there and done it, I don't know how many times, you know, you've won countless fights and titles, and now you're on your own gym. As, a, as an instructor and a teacher like myself, we're both running the same course. It's body language. Um, I don't know if you feel you're the same, but you can read it so well when you see fighters in the corner. Yeah. Uh, when you sat yeah. back, can't you? How the, you just know who's. You can actually watch well, a fight and not watch the technique and read it between the rounds. You know, it's actually. I think you could actually predict the fight, couldn't you? <laughs> well, to a degree. Well, uh, to a degree, yeah, certainly. I mean, I've made a business out of it. Stab performance mind coaching. There you go. <laughs> Come on, let's give us a blatant plug here. What do you do, Richard? Tell the folks back at home. Come and on, tell P4 TV. What is it you do? NLP mind coaching, dealing with stress, nerves, anxiety. Performance anxiety, Round four. sport performance work. There you go. And this is not just, we're not just Thai boxing instructors, you know. We don't just make cups of tea. Um, you know, we have to wear many caps, Richard, don't we? You have to be a first aider, a marriage guidance counsellor. I'm sure you've done that in your gym, because I have. Uh, but anyway, sorry about that. Action speaks louder than words, guys. This, we're on p4tv.com. And we're here at Smash Muay Thai in Liverpool. Privileged position here in the commentary station. Myself, Sandy Holt and Richard Cadden. These two guys, Sam Ward in the blue Minotaurs and Gary Cooley from Kava Muay Thai. Both London lads up here in Liverpool, testing the northern spirit into the third round. We've just seen some good action from both fighters. But it's Sam Ward that's caught most of our attention, Richard. Yep. Purely, purely through his bullish attitude and coming forwards, keeping that pressure on. For, for me, Gary's lost a little bit too much position, allowing Sam to take a, a real stronghold on, on this on this bout. And I think this is the this is the key thing that that's almost attracting the the eye of the judges. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, you know, you can see the the battle wounds all over. Gary is reddened all around his upper body. You know, from, from shots of body kicks, knees, and there have been some solid, no. Oh, was that below the border or was that Whoa. on the target? And it right on the bell. Very, very close. Now he's saying it's the groin, but he's giving him the eight count. Well, there you go, this is this is how it happens. So, if it, as, as far as a, a judge is concerned, strikes to the groin are not allowed. However, if it strikes, merely a fraction of an inch just above the cup area that is still allowed so even hitting to the waistband very low down in the abs is a very effective kneeing technique now fighters do sometimes take a few liberties and say that the knee strayed a little bit lower when it's been a solid almost like a bladder shot Seconds it's, it's really low down on the abs and it's horrible because it's very difficult to develop those abs yeah the pit of the stomach uh, as we say in the lower abdomen you're right you know right in the, there's, there's hardly any abs there's just like a, a quite a thick casing around your stomach there rather than abs and like you said you can take a shot which is legal as you pointed out um you know just above the cup and sometimes because you see the knee going into the shorts people assume it's the grind no that's still your stomach just below the navel between the navel and the groin oh but that one was definitely south of the border. Well, I'm surprised the referee hasn't actually took any... Uh, uh, maybe, I mean, there's been a few times where the referee, I think, should have perhaps just given a little bit more of a warning. And there could have been a... T it could be a point taken off here. You never know. To, to be fair, I know a lot of judges that have given a lot of warnings before actually taking that bold step to take one point away for, for a foul. Yeah, there you go. He's doing it. I thought one so. Point off. I think he's been first. You, yeah, like you said, it's a bold step. But I mean, I don't. I, I, I preempted that a little bit, and I, I, I think Nash is doing a really good job here. The referee has got to be that. The, the hardest job in the ring, you can argue, is the fighters. The hardest job is the referee. Um, you know, to make calls like that. I mean, I don't think that point is actually gonna. 
it might play a little bit, but I, to me, I, I just feel that Sam is too far ahead. You know, a big fourth. He, he took, um, you know, he got an eight count against uh, for his opponent in the in the fourth round, which is the big round. So he completely and utterly established that. So even if he, lo if he loses this round 10-9, you know, it's a 10-8-4, 10-8 on round four. So it, it, to me, he's way ahead. Yeah, so just just by merely playing the numbers game, from what we've seen here, what what they do over in Thailand is having people external to the corner, get, making those judgment calls, and the the, the judges the, the the people betting on the outside can actually help the corner team, saying they've done enough to win, and this is why they'll they'll protect the win, hiding behind the push kick. They don't necessarily have to go forwards and keep making the fight. They can protect the fight and work behind the push kick, and this is why you sometimes see some of the fighters totally disengage. In right, the, in the right, fifth round, yeah, right I mean, that, that's an interesting the, point, the, the, though, the Richard. You know, yeah, I'm going to pick you up on that point a bit later on. Um, we'll talk about that because the, the intricacies of Muay Thai. A lot of people in this country. I mean, as, at, at my fights, myself, Daz Morris, just sent it last week, and in Bolton we had a, a very debatable decision with the two girls, and it was done on on a fight of of, of, of this scoring thing, and. A lot of people, you know, because of the, the Joe Bloggs in the crowd, they just saw a lot of leather being thrown off, off one side and said, oh, this girl's won, blah, blah. It's, you know, the intricacies of, ju of judging um, is very, Your very important. For both and fighters, understanding please. the Muay Thai criteria. And just to simplify for anyone back at home who's watching, you know, there is no glove on your shin. There is no glove on your knee. That is foam and leather. So, you know, just take that into account. And I know it's, it's, a, it's a little bit more... It's probably a bit more complex than what I've made it out there, Richard. But <laughs> I, I, I try and say that to people, and people sort of do pick up on that. You know, it's it, a shin is like a baseball bat, a knee is like a hammer. You know, and elbows, of course, when you bring into the, you know, into, into A class. Um, you know, these are absolute, you know, the, the diamond hard weapons. A glove with padding, sponge, wrapped around a big bandage or, or around a hand. You know, this is this is what you've got to think about. After an incredible five rounds of adult C-Class Muay Thai action, the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Here we go. So please put your hands together for your winner in the blue corner, Sam um, Ward. And there we go. Sam Ward from the Manitou's gym big down round, in Watford. Round of applause for our runner-up, a great sportsman, Gary Cooley. Absolutely Cooley. fantastic performance. Yep, commiserations to Gary Cooley. And unfortunately, he'll go back to London. Okay, oh well, I can say to him, this is a good saying. Keep the swelling and take away from the bruising from down the regions of in the southern area. Uh, bless him. Um, but he came here, he fought, he gave a good account of himself, threw a few good techniques, and the right hand was his sort of strongest weapon. Okay, but uh, Sam had a measure of that with the kicks and knees. And uh, a good win there. Congratulations.